From 2013, the change in Australian politics has not yet been settled. The change of government has happened. The public service are addressing better policy. But exactly what every thing means hasn't been discussed or thought through. Naturally, the ABC are defending their core values, environmental extremism and far-left politics, but not everything is about that narrow view. So some bizarre things have been said which simply jar. An ABC columnist gives a sermon on the evils of work. Other ABC journalists defend the practices of fleecing refugees with pirates and drowning many of them, calling it compassionate. One of those advocates they summon is a former liberal leader, Malcolm Fraser. Current conservatives don't hold that view. Bolt raises the issue of a schism in the conservative ranks evidenced by Abbott insisting on discipline. Alternatively, I think Abbott is merely insisting on good praxis. But then, Bolt likes to be balanced, whereas I insist I'm a conservative. We agree that the more seats Palmer's party has, the worse it is for Australia. Latham talks about ALP leadership, but I struggle to find any such animal or example. Suzuki looks uninformed when answering basic scientific questions. It becomes apparent one of the faceless grey men backing the previous ALP government and making backdoor decisions was an anti-Semitic bigot. Green Party is imploding, while Julia is still writing a book. A siege in Kenya is over. Now it is time to mourn the victims of terror. A senior Kenyan Islamic cleric has denounced the terrorists as not being Islamic. But they had dressed in women's clothes and killed innocent, helpless people. So it is understandable that it is hard for innocent bystanders to know. All that and more can be found with the following links. That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it. Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.